What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another quick morale tutorial video. In this video, we're going to check out how you can mint NFTs directly from the smart contract using Etherscan. All you need to do for this is know the NFT collection smart contract address. You might know this from the, being in the Discord group, the webpage for the NFT collection, Twitter, whatever it is, as long as you know the NFT collection smart contract address and there's NFTs still to be minted on this contract, you can mint these NFTs directly from Etherscan. If you're excited for this, stay stuck in and I'll show you how to build this. And in addition, I'll also show how you can check that these NFTs are actually minted using Morales. Hey, I'm Jay, your Morales instructor from beautiful Finland. I got into crypto in 2020 and I've been building in the space ever since. In my free time, I enjoy running and at the gym and in the summer, you'll definitely find me at the golf course. Now, let's get stuck in and learn about Web3. Okay, let's get started here. So our goal is to mint an NFT straight from the contract using Etherscan. So you got to navigate to etherscan.io. The initial page will be for mainnet Ethereum, but because the NFT we're going to mint is on the Gurley testnet, we're going to have to change to the Gurley testnet explorer over here. But everything would work the exact same with mainnet transactions as well. But for our case, we'll be on the testnet. And here is where you provide the address of the NFT collection you want to mint. So whether you found the address on Discord, the collection's own web page, Twitter, whatever it is, this is where you provide that address. In our case, we've deployed a very simple NFT contract using the Remix web browser IDE. And we've deployed it here on the Gurley network and to this address over here so we can copy it. If you want more information about deploying your own contracts using Remix and verifying them on Etherscan, we have a video which will be linked in the top right corner, which you can check out now. But now as we have the address, we can paste it over in here and search for this address. And you see over here that an hour and eight minutes ago, I've created this NFT contract and no interactions other than this deployment of this contract have happened. So we can go ahead and check out the contract, which we've verified. You can see the contract over here, which has all the imports. And at the very bottom, you see the actual NFT contract, which name is contract NFT test. And there's a maximum limit of 10,000 of these NFTs, but you don't have to worry too much about the contract code over here. All you have to worry about is writing onto the contract. So as you press the right contract tab, it will open all the functions that are writable and change the state of the blockchain. In essence, you could transfer tokens, you could mint tokens, etc, etc. In our case, we're going to have to search for a create token function, it could be called mint and select that. In our case, it doesn't take any inputs. But if you check one of the other ones, for example, here, for the transfer function, select the address you want to transfer it from to the to address and the token ID you want to transfer. In some cases, the create token function or the mint function could have a number of NFTs you want to mint and the value associated with it. So you'd have to provide those over here. But in our case, calling this function is free, it only costs gas, and we can write it directly. The one thing you have to do before that is connect to Web3. So Etherscan knows which wallet to mint the NFT to. So let's connect to Web3 over here. Let's press OK and choose your injected Web3 provider, which is MetaMask in our case. And it connects us to 0x5DAD, which is our account too. Account two over here, and we have 0 0.0434 girly ETH in this wallet. So we have enough for gas. Make sure you have enough for gas. Then you can go ahead and press right. This will open up MetaMask as it would when minting directly from a collections web page and ask if you want to create that token. You go ahead and confirm. And now, as that's going on, we can check MetaMask. The creation of the token is pending, so your minting is in process. And after that's ready, like so, now we should have minted a token directly from Etherscan. How simple was that? We can go ahead and check out the transactions over here. And look at that. Now our creation of a token has been appended to the list of transactions on this contract 28 seconds ago, and it's gone to our own address. Now, one thing you can do with Morales straight away is check if you actually minted this NFT. So let's go ahead and copy the contract address from Etherscan over here. Let's open up Visual Studio Code. And I have a very simple Node.js application open over here where we're importing Morales and some common EVM utils tools from Morales as well. And then environment variables in which we store our Morales API key. And let's go ahead and use the Morales NFT API to check if we actually mint this token. So first off, let's initiate initialize Morales, Morales.start. And then we have to provide our API key, API key, which will be in our process dot env variables, and it's called Morales underscore key. 
So make sure you save a variable called morales key in your environment variables. If you're wondering what you have to save in there, let's go ahead and jump into Google Chrome, open up morales.io like so, and go ahead and create an account for free or log in if you already have an account. This will direct you to your Morales admin dashboard where you can go ahead and click the Web3 APIs tab where you have your Web3 API, copy that and paste that into your environment variables for your Morales key. We're just saving it in environment variables because it's very good practices to keep your API keys safe. Now, after that, you can add a then function like so where we create a response variable after we call the Morales API. Morales dot evm api dot nft dot get contract nfts and as we know the address of the nft contract we just minted from let's go ahead and get that from etherscan over here copy this paste that so this will allow us to get all the nfts for this contract and as we were the first minter of this nft we should be the only one in this list we also have to provide the chain and the chain will be from our EVM utils, EVM chain dot girly like so. Now, all we have to do to display it in our terminal, let's go ahead and console dot log the response in raw format and the results array like so. So that is how simple it is to use the Morales NFT API to get the NFTs of a contract. And now as we've just minted NFT from this contract, we should get that as a response, checking that everything looks good here. We're just waiting. So this has to be an asynchronous function, async like so. And now we should be ready. If we open up our terminal, we've already installed our dependencies so we can run node index.js. Look at this. We have the token address. We've just minted contract NFT test, which is what we called it. You saw this on the remix page and we get our own address 0x5DAD is the address we use to mint this NFT. So Morales confirms us that our wallet actually now holds this NFT and Morales automatically parses you the metadata and gives you the token URI, which consists of the metadata. So we can go ahead and copy this paste it in a browser window, for example, to see this metadata and see what this NFT we minted directly from the contract looks like. So open up Google Chrome over here. And for example, our etherscan.io tab, let's paste this address and look at this. This is the NFT we minted. We have a image key and the name, which is called mage test number one. We can copy this image key, which is stored on IPFS and append it over here to the IPFS gateway and see the picture of the image we just minted, which is this a very cool NFT of a Morales mage. How sweet is that? So this should have given you a pretty good idea of how you can use the contract on Etherscan to directly mint an NFT and not have to go to the web page or wait for the web page of the NFT collection to have minting available. As long as you have the contract address and the developers of the NFT collection have verified their contract on Etherscan, you can go ahead and use this methodology to mint your NFTs. One last check we can do is get our wallet address that we use to mint over here, copy this and search that on Etherscan. And this is your one source of truth over here. If you press the tokens you hold currently, you see that the contract NFT CNT abbreviation is the NFT we just minted and it's stored on the blockchain eight minutes ago. And we see it's minted from the null address to our own address. So that is a simple way to mint NFTs directly from this contract on Etherscan. I hope you found this useful and find ways of using Morales to make sure your interactions on the blockchain are actually going through. I'll catch you in the next one.